There's almost nobody in the comic book industry who's a greater success than Mark Miller. Mark Miller has been around for a long time. You remember him from The Ultimates, where he basically saved the Avengers brand and created what honestly looks like the MCU universe. It looks like they copied his Ultimates more than anything else when they actually put those out into film. He also has done a ton of stuff on the independent level, which got a ton of extra support too. Started with Kick-Ass, if you remember that. They actually made films about that, and those were some of the first popular comic films. And of course, those were independent, so they made good money, uh, and they helped out, of course, the comic books in turn, and had a whole universe there, which was a lot of fun back in the day. Miller got picked up with his Miller World for uh, Netflix, and of course they've made Jupiter's Children, which is based off of his Jupiter's Legacy series so far, and now they're making a new series based off of American Jesus, which was one of his most popular graphic novels a long time ago as well. So he's gone around, and he actually made some comments the other day about how to save the comic book industry. The comic book industry is in shambles. He says you need to bring some people like himself, uh, like Grant Morrison, back in order to... Uh, like reinvigorate the stories of these characters because the people now just don't have the talent and aren't providing the content that people want. And of course, this created sound waves without the internet. Now, the real reason this is controversial and the mainstream media is now attacking the hell out of him is because of where he said this, what show he went on. Remember, these people really care more about who you associate with than what you actually say. Even though he has sound reasoning, even though he is running a media company that has shows that are picked up by Netflix, he knows exactly what he's doing. He knows exactly what he's saying, and it's good business advice for Marvel and DC, and therefore the comic shops along the way. It matters more that he went on to Thinking Critical and actually talked about this to the out access media that is trying to, of course, tear him down now. They kind of realize at this point, Miller's a Catholic. He's going on this show. They're saying, gosh, you're associating with people you're not supposed to, and you're a Christian. Oh, no. Uh, that's the type of thing that the media does to anybody in sort of prominence. So this is just the beginning of what I think is going to be a campaign to tear him down to try to destroy him because of uh of course again his christian beliefs and the fact that he's just a guy who just goes around to every comic channel and of course supports all the comic community and doesn't play these political games with things it's really sad to watch but this is how the media does things they try to control everything control who gets talked about control what books get talked about we've seen it all the time happening of course now guys uh, i am a comic creator as well and of course i want to show you what i've got right here because i've got a companion volume to my best-selling flying spark series now flying sparks the first volume sold more than 3,000 copies we've sold more than 5,000 copies overall of the series which i really appreciate and I have a companion volume out right now on a site called Fund My Comic. It's an alternative to Kickstarter made by a real comic fan who actually loves the medium. And I want to support this. Even though it doesn't get as much traffic, the only traffic that goes to this uh, website is where we generate it. I would like you to head out here and check out my Flying Sparks. Now, this companion volume is all stories. It's books. And it's all standalone stuff that you can just understand. You don't have to read the rest of the series. You can just read this right here and enjoy my content. It's 80 plus pages. And we have it available right here. If you want to start with Flying Sparks, we've also got Volume 1 available. And we've got the entire series available at a discount. So check these out. We are making independent comics. We're having a lot of fun doing so. And you guys have been giving us great reviews on this series. Uh, we got told this is the best superhero series of the last 10 years by Kursova Magazine, who, of course, was nominated for the Hugo Awards. So big deal there. Thank you guys so much for the support over the years. That link's going to be in the description below. All right. So the coordination, of course, uh, for the mainstream media trying to attack Mark Miller uh, starts with Bleeding Cool, as it usually does. This is a gossip site. It's run by a guy named Rich Johnston, who has a reputation for just trying to tear down comic creators with his gossip column. Uh, you know, he's not known as a nice guy. And of course, he tried to tear us down multiple times over the years. It's really sad uh, that he has to do this for his website. Now, Mark Miller, of course, they went through his deal and he said that Saga, of course, was like the last real big hit for a series that existed uh, in independent comics other than Isom, of course. But, you know, we can't talk about Isom yet. <laughs> he might not know about it. But this is where it's at right now. And uh, Saga really was the last uh, sort of deal. He's correct about this. Now, of course, they talk about these are bigger books than Saga. Miller's really wrong. And he just has no idea what he's talking about. They're trying to diminish him on the minutia of the point that there's no big hits anymore, which is true, rather than actually like talking about the substance of what he's saying on how to save comic books. It's really sad. This is what they do. They try to 
misrepresent everything you say. They try to say you're wrong on the misrepresentation based on what they believe. And then they misrepresent everything about you from there forward in order to attack you and make you lose your credibility. And that's what they're trying to do here. So they give a list of 25 more popular books. Now, if you look at it, they're talking about just single issues. Now, we don't actually get the sales stats from the comic book industry anymore. They're gone. Uh, they do not publish them anymore. Ever since COVID, they they figured out, oh, we don't actually have to tell you how much we're selling. We can tell you we're being successful even though we're lying about it. Uh, and that's what they do. So these are just based on the uh, the rankings and their guesstimates of what's being sold at this point. It's kind of ridiculous. But if you look at it, King Spawn, Gunslinger Spawn, again, these are these are products from the 90s, Spawn, uh, which is just getting some attention uh, just because it's Todd McFarlane. It's not a new series that's helping uh, and getting big at all. At Spawn Universe, there's f f three Spawns out of the top five. Absolutely crazy. And more than that, these are single issues. So while a single issue may have done a lot, uh, there's not that like necessarily carrying across the entire series that we're talking about with Saga. Now, people people have been reading Saga for like the last decade, and it's like The Walking Dead. People were reading that like in the hundreds of thousands for the last decade or two, even before the show came out. So these having a single issue that did very well, maybe it's variant covers, maybe it's just some legacy character. Who knows? Maybe there was hype for like one issue, but these are not indicative of what a popular series is that's carrying on that's lasting. A lot of this stuff, I don't even know what it is anymore. Like Crossover, I've mildly heard of. Noctera really didn't like last very well. It did okay uh, at the beginning. Uh, Void Rivals just started. Uh, and of course, we don't even know the real sales of that. It's up at number 12. But hey, what, it, what are the real sales of that? Uh, we got Undiscovered Country down there. Uh, I've heard about that a little bit. Some of the stuff you you don't hear of whatsoever. It's kind of interesting. Now you do see that Mark Miller's Jupiter's Legacy is up in the in the top ten also. So the guy, if anybody does know what he's talking about, even on this list, he knows what he's talking about. But they're trying to destroy him, and it's mainly because he was on the Thinking Critical show here more than what he actually said. Now this then got repeated by Comics Beat, uh, the Comics Culture website, in order to try to attack him again. So these are hit pieces on him, of course. And they're saying that his press tour is a bad thing and he's uh, he's making dumb comments and he has no idea what he's talking about. Again, these are what the articles are doing. And you see that once a couple of these companies do this, they start to coordinate together to frame a narrative to try to attack somebody and diminish their character. It's exactly what's happening here. Now, I don't know that this is going to bother Mark Miller. I mean, he's got, again, shows on Netflix. What does he care about bleeding cool at this juncture? It doesn't bother him. His name being out there, even in a negative sense, is probably just going to give him some extra extra revenue and extra attention. Gosh, I mean, I, I want to go out and just like repurchase all of the graphic novels I had before just because like I'm hearing his name out there and I'm kind of hype about his series that, that's coming out. So interesting stuff right here. Uh, and gosh, I really hope that they don't push harder because of the way he's, quote, associating with real comic book fans who, uh, of course, the comic book industry has been scorning, and that's a big part of the problem in the last few years. But this is what seems to be happening, and it's very sad to watch these ankle biters uh, really try to tear down somebody who actually has real talent. All right, leave a comment down below with what you think about this, my friends. Hit that like and subscribe button, and of course, make sure to check out Flying Sparks. That's in the description below. Really appreciate you guys for being there and coming in on this platform, Fund My Comic, which is a new platform also. See you.